everyone, Donna Gray here, your Stamping Up demonstrator, live from New South Wales, Australia. How are we all today? Um, jumping on, I've got a fun idea this afternoon. Um, I'm going to be using some of the Memories and More cards and show you how to do some really quick, easy creating using the Memories and More cards. And this is really, really awesome for people that are new to crafting. Um, it's fantastic because it's an easy way of creating lots of cards and not having very many supplies. So I'm going to show you the simple, quick and easy way and then I'm going to ramp it up a little bit with some stamping and, um, and some other crafting. So what I wanted to do this, this afternoon is just um, let you know about a few things that are going on with um, stamping up at the moment. Hey Wendy, how are you going? So, um, hey Ale Alessandra, how are you going? Sorry, I had a tongue twist there trying to say Alessandra. Um, so, there's a couple of things going on at the moment. So, if you caught my live video on Friday, um, Paper Pumpkin is here. Paper Pumpkin is awesome. Um, hey Michelle, how are you going? Hey Liz. Um, so Paper Pumpkin is has never been released in Australia before, so it's a really, really special, awesome time to be able to get our hands on the Paper Pumpkin kits in Australia. It's fantastic because um, we want to support this release of this. This is a one-time only release of um, Paper Pumpkin, so they haven't told us whether we're actually going to get it as a regular item in Australia. Hey Kylie, how are you going? Um... <laughs> you need to hear some creative info. <sighs> well, do you know what? Crafting definitely takes the stress away. So um, I hope I can help you out with that this afternoon. So um, what I wanted to do is um, show you a couple of cards that I got posted in the mail. So I'll show you those first. Um, this one here was from... Um, It just says Mrs. Dexter. So it's from Libson's Falls ME. Now, if anyone knows where ME is, it's obviously overseas. So if anyone knows where ME stands for, um, it says Maine, but I don't, I'm not real sure. Sorry, I'm really bad with overseas countries. Hopefully with all my traveling around, I'll get to know them. Um, hey, Stacey, how are you going? So this is a gorgeous card made with some a beautiful doily and some gorgeous um, butterflies there. So that's fantastic. Um, I'm just trying to get my computer organized so I can actually share. I'm going to try this so I can share my video on my groups. Um, if it wants to go. So that's a gorgeous card from Mrs. Dexter. So thank you very much. From Sandy Parsons. Sorry, it says Mrs. Dexter on the thing. So Sandy Parsons, I just had a look inside. Now this one's a gorgeous RAK card. And this one's from Christian and Ruth Solberger. And it's from Packnam in Victoria. Now this is a gorgeous card. Hey Monica, how are you going? And they have created this beautiful card. Now this stamp set was one of a stamp set that I actually checked out one day. I, I seen someone using it and I was like, oh my God, what is that stamp set? That flower is gorgeous. The stamp set is actually called Wood Words and it is actually retiring, I think. Um, and it won't be in our new catalog, but it's a simply gorgeous stamp set. But it actually has a rooster and it came with um, the frame that set match had like a little crate box. Um, so very country orientated, but the flower is simply gorgeous. So um, Ruth has sent me this as an RAK card and she sent me a gorgeous um, message inside too. So thank you very much, Ruth, if you're watching. Thank you very much. It was much appreciated. Now this one here is from Sandy Mundy. This was our swap. Um, now I do a card swap which is, it's called um, Stamping with Donna G Private Card Swap. It's a worldwide card swap. Anybody can join. You can be a stamping up demo. You can be just a hobby demo. You can be just a happy shopper. It doesn't matter. You can actually join my card swap. So we do a card swap once a month. And it's swapping with people all over the world. So um, if you want to be a part of it, um, you've just got to check out 
um, Stampin' with Donna G handmade card swap group. And um, I will pop a link up on my business page later on. But this is a gorgeous card that Sandy Pearl made me. It's a gorgeous shaker card. So you can see in there, it's got some beautiful sequins and things. And it's made with the petal palette stamp set and framelits. So it's absolutely gorgeous. Cheryl's saying, hopefully if PP goes well in Oz, we'll get it permanently. So true, Cheryl. So the idea is, people, please, please, it's available for this month only. Um while stocks last oh sorry it's not this month only while stocks last so please please buy your paper pumpkin and support the paper pumpkin it is simply gorgeous it is designed by Shelley Gardner and it is beautiful so um it's very worthwhile getting and it's only $37 and you get to make 12 cards so if you missed my live on Friday go back and check it out on my business page but it's absolutely gorgeous now this one here is from Vicky Knight in Forest Lake, Queensland. So thank you, Vicky. She's used that gorgeous, um, I think it's the Love What You Do embossing folder. Absolutely gorgeous. And the beautiful Grapefruit Grove as well. So gorgeous card. And that was for my birthday. So I'm still getting birthday. This one's a belated birthday wish, but I'm still getting birthday cards. So I was thrilled to bits to see how many birthday cards that um, I got over the the time it absolutely was amazing and I'm as I said they're still flooding in I'm still getting cards so I feel totally blessed to get that many cards um, through the mail so and and this is what card making is all about it's all about sharing our our gift of um, crafting with the world now this one here is another one from overseas uh, it comes from the USA and it just says right. It doesn't say, hang on, and it doesn't say anything inside, but um, it's from the USA and it's an RAK birthday card. So a random act of kindness birthday card. And um, I got that one just the other day. And she's used the gorgeous balloons and things, um, but a super, super cute, fun, awesome card. So thank you very much. And as I said, keep sending in the the cards I absolutely love going and going to that letterbox and finding some gorgeous happy mail in the letterbox so it's all about sharing our gift of crafting so um, if you haven't made a card lately make a card and send it to a friend there may be a friend that's going through some tough time at the moment there may be a friend that that's a bit down in the dumps and just needs a little bit of a cheer up so um, get out there, make a card and send a card because I can tell you it would absolutely brighten someone's day to get an awesome card like that. So I've just got a couple of groups here that I need to um, share with and then we'll get into crafting. So um, who? what's your favourite thing? Type in the comments, what's your favourite bundle in the new Stamping Up catalogue? So if you've got the catalogue in your hands, Tell me what is the top of your wish list. Which bundle do you think is going to be the most popular bundle in um, in the catalogue? So um, let me know. Let me know what you think and type it in, in the catalogues. Hey, Helen, how are you? Thank you very much, Helen, for your order. I just received. Thank you very much. It was beautiful to see that order pop up. Um so, uh, are you cold? I'm sitting in the sun in my dining room. I'm actually not that cold. I put this on this morning when I was cold, um, but I'm actually not that cold um, at the moment. But yeah, I've just I got myself dressed that way this morning, and that is just how it's um, ended up staying. So <laughs> anyway, so let's get. Hey Cheryl, how are you going? Hey Mary. So thanks for joining everybody. I'm just going to now pop that laptop aside and let's get into crafting. So if you haven't seen the catalogue and you haven't had got your hands, hot little hands on the catalogue, this is our brand new catalogue. It is absolutely stunning and you can see by some of the things on the front cover, it is a beautiful catalogue. You will not be disappointed with the products in this catalogue, I can tell you. The Floral Essence, The Peacock. Sammy Jo says The Peacock. Helen's saying The Magnolia Bundle. Floral Essence. So there's a couple there for Floral Essence. Margie and Liz say Floral Essence. Anyone else? What else? Who else has a favourite 
in the catalogue already. I actually have a favourite and I'm going to switch you down now to my desk. I actually have a favourite and you can tell by the Memories of More cards here. I'll just put a bit of light onto the subject. Sorry about that. Um, you can tell by the Memories of More cards here that... Silhouette scenes I think will be really, really nice. The Royal Peacock, I can't wait to get my hands, Wendy, on the Royal Peacock paper. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so, um, yeah, the Silhouette scenes I think will be quite a fun, interesting set. So, in our brand new catalogue, we have the Memories of More card pack. Now, this is the Good Morning Magnolia Memories of More card pack. And you can also purchase, I'm going to see what it says, Magnolia Lane Large Specialty Memories and More Cards and Envelopes. Now these cards and envelopes are gorgeous. So as you can see, this is our card base. It's a gorgeous craft card base and it's got beautiful foiled frame um, on the front. Now you can use that on the front or inside and I will show you how to do that. It's got these gorgeous envelopes that are actually got the silver foil all around the edging and all around the back and then we have these super super awesome envelope liners that match as well so I'll show you how to actually pop those um, envelope liners into the envelope as well um, yes it's absolutely gorgeous the Magnolia Lane Cheryl I agree um, so sailing home, Sandy's saying, sailing home, yes, that's one of my bundles and I'm actually going to probably use some of those today as well. So I'm just going to do some fun crafting and I want to show you how quick you can create quite a few cards using these memories and more cards, envelopes and the cards. So they come in the larger size cards. They're all double-sided, so they all have lovely patterns. Some of them have gorgeous sayings, hooray for today. Um, lovely double-sided patterns. And they've got the smaller size ones as well. Okay? So these are great, awesome cards. This one here saying, sending many warm wishes on your special day. Gorgeous. I feel like this Good, good Morning Magnolia bundle will be perfect for weddings. I think it has that charm and that grace about it that I think it will be a perfect bundle um, for doing wedding invitations, wedding thank you cards and things, I just and, and wedding cards in general. I just think it has that feel about it. So, okay, so what I've done is I've, I've, I've thought up of a couple of ideas. Now, everything that we have in these cards, you have two of them in the pack. So as you can see, two thank you. So you can use one side or the other. Or you can do two of the same card. So um, it's really good in that respect. I didn't do two of the same card because I just wanted to show you how we can do um, some quick, easy cards with this. So what I did was I checked out all of these smaller cards and I checked out the bigger cards. And I looked at that and I thought, isn't that just simply stunning? Just like that. I was like, oh, that is so, so nice. So I thought what I would do for the first one, no stamping, no nothing. So for a couple of these, there won't be any stamping. So now, because this is actually going to cover up that foil sheet, that foil, foil frame, I didn't want to cover that up. I was like, mm, I don't really want to cover that up. So what I decided to do was, now normally with our fold, where it's um, indented into our card, we fold against that indent. And fold it so that's the way the cards would normally fold okay with your foil on the outside I'm actually going to change that up I'm actually going to pop it on the inside so that when we open up the card it's going to have that gorgeous foiled bit on the inside so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this card it's going to be um, portrait style so first of all I'm actually going to pop a little bit of ribbon so we've got some gorgeous ribbon in this um, catalog so this is our um, organdy striped ribbon and it's gorgeous it's in the petal pink color so it goes really really well with this um, packet of memories and more cards so what I'm actually going to do is I just want to pop some double-sided tape on the back look at that gorgeous frame on the back you can do so so many things with these cards and I feel like if you were a beginner stamper you actually only need, really, in all honesty, the pack of the Memories and More cards and a pack of the Memories and More 
cards and envelopes. And you would be set to go to make several cards. I'm trying to think of how many cards there is in this pack. Um, does it tell me how many cards? Quanti, 20 cards. So you will be able to make 20 cards. Now let me just tell you the price. I can't show you the catalogue at the moment, but I'll get to where the Magnolia Lane bundle is. And I'll let you know what page it is. So if you have your own catalogue... I'll let you know where to find it. Okay, so the Magnolia Lane Suite is on page 37 in your catalogue. Now, the Magnolia, there's a different ribbon, and I will be using that at the moment. Um, where are we? Magnolia Lane Memories and More Card Pack is $19.95, and Magnolia Lane Large Specialty Memories and More Cards and Envelopes is $21.75. So for $30, $40, you're going to get 20 gorgeous cards and you won't need to stamp at all. You're saying going to have two order, two lots. Yes, exactly, Sammy Jo. Sammy Jo has just joined my Wild Heart Crafters team and she's having a lovely time learning how to do crafting. And I think it's so awesome, Sammy Jo, that you've joined my team. Um, and... All of these products are new to Sammy Jo, so she's having a lovely time. So who else that has joined Stamping Up is totally addicted to our gorgeous Stamping Up products? I am. I know as soon as I joined, I was like, wow, this is the best decision I've ever made. So Sammy Jo took up the awesome offer of um, purchasing $235 worth of product and only paying $169. And she was able to put some brand new products in her starter kit um, right at this very minute you can pop these things into your starter kit if you wanted to join my team right today you can pop them in your kit so if you simply can't wait until the 4th of June it's an awesome time to join so I've popped a little bit of ribbon just in the middle of that I'm then going to grab my liquid glue now the reason why I use my liquid glue you could actually pop this up actually if you want now I'm going to pop up the next layer. Um, the reason I use my liquid glue is it gives me wiggle time. Hey Camilla, how are you going? Hey, how are you going? Hey Chrissy, I didn't see you jump on, but I see someone saying hello to you. Thanks for joining me, ladies. Okay, so I'm just going to glue that onto the front of my card, just like so. Now, you may be saying if you're new to crafting, oh, you make this look so easy. It is easy, you just don't have to overthink it. So I'm just going to use some dimensionals now and I'm going to raise that sentiment up on the front. And I know I've used ribbon that, um, that I didn't say in that kit, but you don't actually physically have to use ribbon if you don't want to. I love ribbon on a card. Um... um I absolutely um, think that it really sets a card off. It just gives it that wow factor. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm going to offset it a little bit to the right. And the reason being, I want to tie a gorgeous bow with that ribbon. So the way I do my bows, I make a loop. I then go over with the loop and I always twist my ribbon, flip my ribbon roll over so that it doesn't twist because you need to keep the ribbon all going in the one direction and pop a loop through. And that is it. That is how you tie a simple bow, but I just did exactly what I told you not to do. I'll start again. Don't twist the ribbon. Okay, so a bow, you do one loop, a loop around your fingers and then push that loop through the loop that you put around your fingers. There we go. That's better. Now it's behaving. Okay. And just fiddle around until you get the, um, the loops of your bow, the size that you want. And then when you've got them good, I pull the top two loops and the two bottom tails in between my fingers and I pull the whole center. And it tightens up the knot, but it makes your tails hang down. So um, no class today, Camilla. So you, I'm stuck with you. Well, that's good. I'm glad you can join me for my crafting afternoon. Okay. So 
So there we have a gorgeous bow. I'm just going to pop that bow on with a glue dot. And that is one simple card. No stamping whatsoever. But how gorgeous is that? So um, give me some hearts if you think that that's pretty cute and pretty super quick and easy to make. Give me some love. Show me some love. <laughs> Although I don't know whether I can see the hearts. Here I can't. And every now and then someone tell me how many people are watching because I have no idea. I haven't got my computer in front of me. So that's card number one. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. So I looked at this and I thought this is gorgeous. I'm going to do the same thing again because I actually want to make use of that gorgeous um, frame. So I'm going to fold that inside. Now this is gorgeous vellum. And you may say, but how am I supposed to use the vellum? Because isn't it going to show my glue? So yes, it will show you glue, but you can do it two ways. One of two ways. You can sponge on the back with the sponge and some of your Tombow. I'm actually just going to put some glue in the middle here because I'm going to pop this gorgeous sentiment over the top. So because I'm going to pop that over the top, I'm actually just going to pop my glue on the inside because you're not going to see it. My sentiment's going to cover it up. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of Tombow. And it's totally okay because it's going to be glued in the middle and that's all that we need to keep it stuck down. Okay? And see, as you can see, you can see how you can see your glue through the vellum. So you have to be really... If you want to show that vellum... The sponging technique is definitely um, the best way to go. Thank you for letting me know. Hello, Patty from Northern California. Thank you for joining me. Okay, so that looks super, super cute, but I thought maybe what I need is maybe a layer of cardstock in behind it. So I thought even maybe some petal pink. So let me see if I've got petal pink here in my... I do... So I'm just going to cut down a piece of petal pink to go in behind that. So, um, oh, I was going to say, and where's my cutter? But it's right here beside me. I just had the catalogue sitting on top of it. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to measure this. So this is measured by three inches by four inches. So three by four cards. So I'm actually going to do it four and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches so four and a quarter by three and a quarter okay and that's going to give me a gorgeous eighth of an inch border all the way around so that's just made that look super super nice straight away so I'm going to glue that onto my gorgeous petal pink layer with my Tombow Okay, glue that on up the right way. Now, I love the corner that we have here, but I still want to pop a bit of ribbon just to give it a little bit more of a bling. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get some of this gorgeous linen um, ribbon and I'm going to pop it across just that corner. So I'm going to, with the corner of it, pop some double-sided tape on the corner so I can stick my ribbon into it. So there. Hey, Becky from Ohio. Thank you, Becky, for joining me from Ohio. What time is it over there, Becky? I always love finding out what time it is overseas. I have no idea about the time difference or anything. Tell me what time it is. It's, um... 1 p.m. in the afternoon, well, it's 1.20 in the afternoon here for us in Australia. Okay, so I'm just going to turn that over, have a look at where I've got it and cross that over at an angle just across the corner like so and trim it off. I've got the world's worst scissors this afternoon. I think I've got my pair that have been used for all other things other than cutting ribbon okay so I've got that but there's also this gorgeous um 
I actually think it's Mossy Meadow. I'm not sure. Someone can probably correct me, but it's Mossy Meadow twine that goes with it. So I'm just going to double that up because I want it a little bit thicker. So I'm just going to double that up and cut it. 11.20. 11.20 p.m., I assume. And that would be 11.20 p.m. What are we? We're here. We're Tuesday today. So that's probably 11.20 p.m. on Monday. I think I would be correct in saying that. Okay, so I'm fiddling around here. I can't grab the end. Okay, so I'm just going to... I've looped it underneath my ribbon there on the end. And I'm just going to tie a cute little bow. And bear with me because I'm not good with twine. You all know that. I can tie a ribbon bow, but when it comes to twine, I struggle. But I haven't done too bad there. Okay. So that's super, super gorgeous. Look at that. Stunning. Okay, and I'm going to pop that up then on some dimensionals on the front. Grab those. <laughs> so I was right. Yeah, I thought because you're always the day before, because I know when everything releases here, um, I know a lot of you from over in the US are all saying, no, it's not time to release it yet. And we're like, yes, it is. Here in Australia it is. So I'm just going to pop that up onto some dimensionals. And once again, I haven't, in all of this, I haven't done any stamping whatsoever. So if you are totally new to crafting, you can totally do this. Totally do this. And then when you open it up, you've got the gorgeous silver frame inside where you can write your greeting. So that's card number two. So we've done this one and this one. Okay. Okay. Moving right along. Now, this one, I'm going to step it up a little bit. Um, I'm actually, I looked at this and I was like, that is simply gorgeous, that card. But when I went to pop the card on top, it's too big. It covers up all that beautiful um, work there underneath. So what I decided to do was use one of our punches and actually punch out... Which, where is that punch? I'm going to use the Starburst one, I think. Okay, actually punch out that sentiment out of the card. So I'm just using my Starburst punch. And I'm just going to punch that out. Just like so. Now you could use that again on the front of another card. You could punch up a, um, stamp a, a sentiment and you could punch that up. So I'm just going to, with that... I've got a lovely sentiment there now for the front of my card. And I think what I want to do is use some of... Um, I'm thinking the new In Colour Ribbon would look quite nice. I'm thinking I want to do... Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to do... Do I want to... No, I don't want to... I want to do a couple of strips of that. So just with my scissors, I'm just going to cut... Now this is um, the in colour, um, pretty peacock in colour, what's it called? It's called Scalloped Linen Ribbon, which is gorgeous. Okay, so I want to pop those on the front just with some double sided tape. So I'm going to pop two of those across and they're separated a bit. So with my Take Your Pick tool, you're definitely going to need a few packs, yeah. These are stunning, Sammy, honestly. They are gorgeous. And I think it's a really, really cute, easy way, as I said, easy way of introducing yourself to crafting. So as I said, if you're new to crafting, this is definitely um, a simple way of making quite a few cards. And just with a little bit of imagination, so I'm going to pop that up on to some dimensionals. Hello, Lena. From Canada, Lena. I 
think that's a Canadian flag, isn't it? <laughs> I'm really showing my ignorance to overseas countries, but as I said, once I start, um, actually, do you know what? I'm going to pop something else behind that. Are you ready for it? If I can find them. Can I find them? Are they there? Yes. Sorry, excuse me, everyone. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pop some of the beautiful um, silver thread in behind, if I can find the end. There it is there. Somewhere. There it is. Okay. So now the silver thread is very fine. And what you do is you grab it in your hands and you just wrap it around and around and around. And you wrap it around a few other little fingers and around. And that would probably be enough. And I don't know why, but I always do this and I always have to cut it with the wrong hand. But it cut, so it's all good. Okay, so in my dimensionals on the back, I've already taken the backings off. I'm just going to place that around in my dimensionals. I'm going to make sure I've got my end bits curled around and tucked in. So there. And everything's sticking to my fingers. There. And that. Okay. So as you can see, that just creates a little bit of interest in behind our sentiment on there. Okay. And then I'm just going to, once again, I'm going to fold that to the inside of the card so we get that gorgeous foil look on the inside. And I'm going to pop that on the front. So as you can see, this is super, super quick, easy crafting. I haven't even got an ink pad out yet. But I've got three super gorgeous cards at the moment. So one, two, three. So, um, and as you can see, happening really, really quick. You just got your pre-order, Barbara. Magnolia Memories and More Card Pack is back ordered oh no overseas it's on back order so fingers crossed it stays in australia we still have it it's still available at the moment i haven't heard anything from um anything from head office at this stage okay bring in the next one this one here is super super gorgeous and i just wanted this i i loved this background because I thought it was super super beautiful and I just wanted this to actually stand out a little bit more so what I've decided to do I'm actually going to cut this one down a little bit so I'm going to cut now I'm going to cut one eighth of an inch off one side and one eighth of an inch off the other side so that's cutting a quarter off both like in total off the sides and then I'm going to cut, I'm going to see what a quarter looks like. Um, now I'm going to cut an eighth of an inch off the top and an eighth of an inch off the bottom. And you'll understand when you see what I'm going to do, why I needed to cut that down. Because I then want to pop a lovely layer to make that pop. Now what color do you think I would need to make that really pop and stand out? So do you think it should be a light color or do you think it should be a darker color? Because I have in my mind exactly what color I'm going to use and I'm going to go and grab a sheet of it. Just there. After watching Barbara, you can't wait to get them. I know and it would be so upsetting that it's out of stock. But anyway. Okay, so I've now cut this down. This one's now cut down to three and three quarters by two and three quarters, okay? So I'm actually going to cut a layer. I'm going to use Early Espresso because you can see straight away that makes that on that absolutely pop out, okay? So that's one hint. If you want something to really... Um, 
Is this a kit that Donna is using? Deborah, it is Memory, Memories and More card pack. So it's Magnolia Lane, Memories and More card pack. So you know how we get the Memories and More card pack. And there is also Memories and More large cards and envelopes in craft. So um, it's actually, um, um, yeah, so dark is the way to go because dark actually makes it pop out a lot more. Okay, so we've got that two and three quarters by, sorry, two and three quarters by three and three quarters. So I'm going to do it um, three and three quarters. So I'm going to do it back to four by three by three. Now, if I didn't want it quite as big a border as that, okay, I think I like it with that big border but I could cut that down a little bit more and I could um I could yeah have like a really tiny slither of that color hey Matthew how are you going thanks for joining I could have a tiny slither of that color coming out but I, I think I like that size there um, okay so I'm actually going to glue those together Yeah, so Deborah, it's a lovely. Um, this is this is a way, as I said, of crafting. If you're new to crafting, or if you just want to do some some beautiful, easy, quick, simple cards, you can do so many things with these memories and more cards. Okay, so now there is a gorgeous, and I must say, gorgeous, beautiful linen trim. So I'm actually going to pop that linen trim. Um, on that card base here. So I'm going to do some double-sided tape on the back. I'm going to do it down towards the bottom. So it's a very economical way of making quite a few cards. And I think the craft card is really, really... Hey, Jean, thank you for joining. I think the craft card is um, really nice and nature, like natural looking. So I think for all of these flowers and all of the... Um, the florally sort of look, I think the craft cardstock just goes so well with it. Okay, so I'm now going to stick that. And that's going to go just down the bottom. I want to, actually, I'm going to stick it up a little bit higher. Don't want to cover up those gorgeous flowers. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a bit of ribbon across there. So it's totally amazing what you can do with some cards and a bit of ribbon. Okay, so I'm thinking that's looking super, super lovely. Definitely needs a bow. Um, okay, so I'm going to fold this back on the... That one's going to go on the inside again, so I'm going to put the foil accent on the inside. There's actually a gorgeous card. Now, I need to find it. I've got a gorgeous card that I think should go on the inside. So, um, okay, so we're going to glue that one on just like so on the outside. Yes, um, Matthew, exactly. Very good for masculine cards, the craft cardstock. Um, we don't sell craft cardstock. I know that we have um, soft suede and we have crumb cake, which is pretty close, but, um, but the craft is very good. And it's very handy. It goes with everything. So I think that's the gorgeous part of it, that it actually does go with everything. Okay, now I need to find, there's a gorgeous card in here that I have in my brain. I'm hoping that I can find it in here. I may be wrong. Where was it? Where was it? These are beautiful cards. Simply stunning cards. There's a card in here that I know I loved it and I was like, oh, I so want to do something with that one. Where is it? There. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm going to pop that on the inside. Okay, so I'm going to pop this one up. And, you know, I think, uh, do I have it here? Maybe not going to open a new Wink of Stella. I think my Wink of Stella is missing from here. It's the gold one. Yep. Yeah. 
Hey Susan, how are you? You got to catch me live. That's exciting. Okay. So I'm going to pop that one up on the front. Just like that. I think we need to do a gorgeous bow out of that linen trim. I've been working on my... Um, incentive trip swaps at the moment and <laughs> I've been sending pictures to my team members and to my demo friends saying is this okay is this okay because this is my first incentive trip I'll be heading off to Rome and Greece in July and it's my first time on an incentive trip and I'm feeling the pressures on about designing a card that everyone's going to go oh that looks not I, I'm, I'm so worried that it's not going to be up to scratch but I can tell you that they've all guaranteed me that it is gorgeous the card that I've designed so I'm gonna go with everyone's opinion but it's really funny because um I've never been really that nervous about what I make but when you're mixing it up with all the top demos in the world it's a little bit scary so you can see that just sets that off on the front <laughs> you love how I do my bows it's mesmerizing, really, Matthew. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually going to, just on the inside here, I'm just going to pop that on the inside. And I just think that just sets the inside off totally. And it gives you room that you can write something. But it was just such a gorgeous card that I was like, I so need to put that somewhere. But how pretty is that? Simply gorgeous. And once again... I haven't touched a stamp yet. I haven't touched an ink pad. Okay, so that's card number four. What else have I got here? Okay, this one here. This one's just a simple, really, really easy. It's got a striped background, and I was like, that is just gorgeous on its own. Okay, so I thought what I'll do is I might pop a little bit of the ribbon. Should I do that? Yeah, that ribbon. Yeah, I think that's pretty cute. Okay, so a little bit of ribbon just on that edge. Oh, if I can get my double-sided tape open. And this is simply gorgeous on the other side as well. It's very hard to make the decision of which side of the cards that you want to use. But it is um, very easy crafting. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that on there like so. And then I'm going to pop that up on there. And then just pop a bow down the bottom, I think. Yeah. Now, there is some super gorgeous little things here flowers and things so I'm just wondering whether we want to pop a flower on here yes that's what I'm going to do okay so they're stickers so I'm just going to pop that up on the front and this is how quick and easy you can um, decorate with some of the gorgeous um, flowers and things as well. Okay, so I'm going to pop that up on the front. It says, you are loved. So just like that. Now, this gorgeous flower, I want to pop it up and get it to have a 3D look. I'm going to pop a couple of dimensionals on the back, like that. Hey, Kayla, how are you going? You're at work. <laughs> are you sneaking watching me at work? Okay, so there's a gorgeous flower that we can pop on there. 
Now it's got some super cute little leaves and things. This here, I think, um, actually, no, I'm just going to use the leaves to start off with. It's got some super cute little leaves. So I'm going to pop some of those out and pop them on. Okay. So just like so. But look, that's just given a gorgeous 3D look to it. And all it was was popping a flower up on the front. Hey, Jenny, how you going? Thanks for joining. Thanks for sharing. Now, if you share my video, you go into the draw to win some free prizes. I draw a drawing each month. So please share my video and make sure you type shared into the comments so that I know that you've actually shared the video. So now we want to bling that up a little bit, I think. So I'm going to get my rhinestones out. Because I think just a couple of gorgeous rhinestones on that will really set it off. Now, I use my take your pick tool and I use the putty end of my take your pick tool to pick up my rhinestones and pop them on. So how super cute is that? By just adding a few little rhinestones and a 3D flower. So I'll bring those cards back in again. We've done quite a few, but I'm still going to keep going. So we've got these gorgeous cards. This one, this one. And as you can see, I've been making these super, super quick. So who doesn't love this kit? I'm telling you. Pack of memories and more cards and a pack of memories and more um, card bases and envelopes and you are set. And a little bit of ribbon. Okay, so let's move right along. We've got one more here. Is it one more? Yes. One more to make. Okay, so once again, I'm going to use this. This one, I think, is one of my favourites. Thanks for sharing, Liz. Thanks for sharing, Helen. Um, this one is probably... Thanks, Monica. This one is probably one of my favourite cards out of the whole lot. So what I thought I wanted to do is maybe try with some stamps. So I thought I'm simply loving the Paper Pumpkin stamp because it's got some really gorgeous sentiments in it. Okay, so um, <clears throat> now if you missed the live video, as I said, that I did on Friday... Um, you really need to check it out because this has got some gorgeous, beautiful sentiments in it. So I think what I'm going to say is grateful for you. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so there is a gorgeous label in here. This one here. Is it just that one? Yes. Yes. So we've got a gorgeous label here. So I'm actually going to stamp grateful for you. So I'm going to grab a block. I'm going to line up that grateful on there. Okay, so I'm going to do grateful and then for you underneath. So I'm going to do the for you first so then I can pop my grateful on top. Okay, so I'm finally getting out some ink, finally. Okay, so I think I'm going to ink this up in Early Espresso. And fingers crossed, this is going to stamp really well because I want it to stamp really nicely on here. Okay, so I'm just going to do, I'm going to stand up so I can definitely get over the top and make sure I stamp it really nice. That there for you and then grateful these stamps are stunning grateful for you how beautiful is that okay I'll close up my ink pad so I don't get grotty okay so I want to actually pop that up onto the front. I want to make sure I've got no ink on me so I don't get it over that. Okay, I want to pop that up on the front. So I'm going to grab some dimensionals. Now this is a sticky label, but I'm actually going to turn it into a 
um, 3D dimensional label. If I can get it off, there it is. Ah, come off. Okay, there. Okay, so I'm going to turn that over and I'm going to pop some dimensionals on the back. And what now? Your paper pumpkin kit arrived today, Deborah. It's exciting, isn't it? It is so exciting for us to have paper pumpkin here in Australia. I'm I'm over the moon. Like, I so want everyone to purchase it, and I so want it to go really, really well because I want it to be a permanent thing in Australia. Now, if you're new to crafting and you don't understand what paper pumpkin is, paper pumpkin is like an all-inclusive kit. So see how I'm making all these cards with embellishments and cards and um card bases paper pumpkin is really along these lines of being able to do this and so we can do it with memories and mods we've we've actually had to really make up our own paper pumpkin type of thing here in australia because we haven't had it but they've allowed us to have it for once in um i'm actually going to put a little bit of ribbon across this first before i put that on um so I'm going to use some of that um, gorgeous linen ribbon again, I think. This is stunning. Look at this with these colours. Isn't it beautiful? I'm so in love with this ribbon. And I should have been um, conserving it because I'm using it on my swaps for my incentive trip. But I just so love it so much I can't stop. Okay, so I'm going to pop that with some double-sided tape just across the middle of my card. So double-sided tape there for my ribbon and another piece. We're so hard not to open it before you had to go out. Oh, I know, I know, Deborah. As soon as I got it, do you know what? I got it. I finished work on that Friday and it arrived while I was working and I just, it might have been Thursday, I can't remember. I just jumped on straight away. I had not planned on doing a live video at all that day, but oh my God, when I had my paper pumpkin in my hands, I was like, oh Lord, I need to play with it. So I jumped on straight away. I did get a couple of comments because I, I popped it in the demonstrator planning place the video and a couple of comments were like, and I did say spoiler alert, but they're like, why are you putting it into the demonstrator planning place if you didn't want it to spoil it for people? And I'm like, well, you know, we've got it. It's arrived. We're excited. We wanted to show it. It's as simple as that. <laughs> I know I can always buy more ribbon and I do have time. Like at the moment, there's a, a limit on the ribbon that we're allowed to buy in pre, um, pre-order, but um, I'm planning on hopefully having, cause I've got, I've got two swaps that I've got to do for my incentive trip. So, um, I've got one swap, which is just a, an all over swap on the cruise with, um, other stamping up demos. And then I have, um, so I'm going to fold that with that foil bit inside again. And then I have a swap with all of the, um, South Pacific crew. So the New Zealand girls and the Australian girls. So I've designed my swap for the card swap, but the next swap is a um, three by four um, pocket card, I think they call them. So for scrapbooking, so I've got to actually design something and they've got like a color scheme. So I've got to try and work out what I'm going to design for that. Okay, so I've got that and I've got this gorgeous sentiment. So I'm going to pop the gorgeous sentiment over here. Now you may look at that and go, mm, it's a bit plain. I agree. So what I decided to do was to pop some of these gorgeous stickers on here to create a nice flowery. So I've got a leaf there. I've got a gorgeous flower that I think I'm going to pop on just there. So I need a bit of a dimensional under that. Sorry, I am, I'm winging this bit, but I need a dimensional under that. So I'm just going to do that. And because it's sticky, it will stick on it. So that's quite cute. 
Okay, there's some more of those that I think I might want to do. I think I want to pop some of these up here like that and another one just like that. Do I need another one of these? I'm thinking do I need another one of those up through there? Oh, I think that looks nice. It's down. Ah, oh, will it go in there? Like that. Look at that. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Okay, I think we need some leaves for these ones over here. So we'll pop some leaves happening down through there. And I might just pop one leaf coming out from under there. At that. How stunning is that? Okay. Grateful for you. Okay. So, I think we want a bit of bling for that one as well. Just to make it look really, really pretty. So, I'll get my take your pick tool once again. I think I want to put a bling in the middle of that one. A couple of little blings up here. Ah, oh, that just sets it off. There. I think that's... Oh, I'm going to pop some just around randomly. Okay, come on. Pick it up. Try again. So up there. And one down there. And I feel like I need one maybe just in there. Look at that. Hey, Michelle, how are you going? You're good at listening to you while you're driving home. <laughs> you work late at night in New York and it's close to midnight. Oh, my God, Susan. If it was midnight, I would be in bed snoring my head off. My husband was telling me I've been snoring really bad lately, so I must be tired lately. But anyway. All right, so I'm going to bring all those cards back in. Do you want some more cards done with our Sail Away cards? Our, um, these ones? Because I thought I could maybe make one or two cards with these. Let me know. Type into the comments and let me know whether you want some more cards made. Okay, so these were the... Magnolia Lane cards. Now there's some gorgeous vellum, um, beautiful cards. You've got your four by three cards and you've got your um, six by four cards. I think that's, yes, yeah, six by four. So um, there's still heaps left. Look at that. I've made all these cards and there's still this massive card pack left, plus all those embellishments. So um, <laughs> Matthew's saying, yes, please. You love this one too? So, some super, super cute cards. We'll put them these, this way. So look at these cards. And I only got a stamp set out once to make those cards. So is that not super, super awesome value to be able to do that? More with the sailing away, Liz says. Okay, you've twisted my arm. I may make another couple. Okay, what time is it? Oh, yeah, I've got time. I've only been going for an hour, so that's not too bad. So in an hour, I've made one, two, three, four, five cards in an hour. So that's not too bad. Okay, let's look at these gorgeous cards. Um, now, I'm just going to check in my catalogue what page we can find the sail away bundle oh wow did i show the catalog before i hope i didn't i don't think i was <laughs> i hope i didn't okay i've just got to find where the bundle is does anyone know what page it's on anyone been um studying the catalog so much that they know exactly what page the sail away is on Towards the back, I think. There it is. Sail away. 
it's on page 145. Now, the Come Sail Away um, Memories and More card pack um, is 1925. We've got some gorgeous baker's twine that goes with this, so we might use some of the baker's twine and some of the Sail Away trinkets. Now, what did I do? Oh, I did bring them here. So, I was planning on doing maybe a card or two with the Sail Away cards. Hey, Emma, how are you? You're getting ready to head off to work. Super early there. Watch me on the replay. Thank you, Emma. I get to watch you all the time when I'm having my morning coffee. So, okay, so we've got Sail Away cards. Now, these are the same. We have the 3 by 4 cards. They're all um, double-sided. Happy Father's Day. Um, so there's quite a few. You've got some gorgeous... Um, any day with you is best. Happy Father's Day. So I don't know which one I'm actually um, going to use here. But there is some gorgeous cards in here. Okay. You made my day. What am I going to use? The lighthouse is cute. Oh, the sailboat's cute. We might pop that one aside. Life is better when we're together. Maybe. Oh, the anchor's cute too. Oh, the lighthouse. Ah. Ah. You and me at sea. Deary me. Free as the ocean. Okay. Well, I've got a couple there. This is how I... um. Yeah, they, they are reasonably priced, Deborah. Honestly. Um... And um, I can't remember. I think the cards were about $20 from memory. So um, so it is very reasonably priced. Plus you've got these gorgeous embellishments. Let's go somewhere and do something. Oh, that sounds good. What is life but a grand adventure? Stunning. Um, some more stickers. World's Greatest Guy. Okay, anchors away. Oh, I like that. And I like that. Okay. Oh, and I like that. <laughs> oh, dear. And these are simply stunning. These are gorgeous die cut pieces. I'll pop them onto this base so you can see what they look like. That one is stunning. That's like coral. Then we have the gorgeous um, ship wheels. Then we have the gorgeous rope and anchor. And they're like cream on one side and white on the other. Oh, and there's other ones that are different as well. Um, we've got a gorgeous lighthouse. Blue on one side. Cream on the other. I think I might do that for something. Okay. They're gorgeous. And more st stickers. So... Lordy, lordy, the sailboat. Yeah, the sailboat's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, what am I going to do? So I'll pop them aside, pop them aside. Now I'm really winging this. Okay, so I've got some card bases. I'll pop one of those aside. Okay, I feel like that is just stunning. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, do you know what? That's my first card. Okay, I'm going to fold that on the inside again so we've got the gorgeous foil on the inside. This is my first card. This is just awesome. Okay, so I'm going to pop that onto the front like that. Oh, sorry, there's just a bit die cut that hasn't come out. So I don't think, no, I want the blue. The blue looks gorgeous. Okay, so just with um, some Tombow, I'm just going to pop some Tombow around on that. You could use your fine tip glue pen. You could use maybe a sponge if you wanted to. I'm just going to randomly pop some glue around. 
looks good. It is so simple to whip up cards like this, Alessandra, isn't it? Yes. So true. So now I'm just going to pop that onto that gorgeous card. Look at that. Instantly, we have a beautiful card straight away. But I'm going to add a little bit more. Okay. So I'm going to, with this gorgeous twine, with a bit of double-sided tape, I'm just going to attach one end of it on here. Okay. Ugh. Made a mess of that. Anyway, so I'm going to wrap that around randomly on my card and it's going to go crazily. Okay, that looks pretty super good. Okay, bit of double-sided tape to hold that. Oh, Matthew, I thought you'd be enjoying this bundle. It's great for um, beachy ideas as well. You know, like I, I just think there's so much... Um, I actually had a customer saying that they go on cruises quite often and she said this is on the top of her bundle, the um, Sail Away bundle. Okay, so that's looking good. Now, I'm going to look at some of these stickers and what we've got here and see what we can do. Okay, simply a great day. What have we got? I'm going to do simply a great day. This is the perfect moment. I'm going to do that. That on that. Okay, so I'm going to use this. And then we're going to pop that up. Okay, so I'm going to leave that. I shouldn't have taken that off, but anyway, leave that there. I'm going to grab a dimensional and pop a dimensional on the back of that. The idea would be probably to make your mind up what you're going to do before you take the um, sticker off. Oh, no worries, Donna. Sometimes you can go out and come back in again, but yeah, sometimes the internet is not real good. <laughs> that's okay anytime I'm happy to inspire you with your crafting anytime love to do it okay so I'm going to do that and I'm going to pop that onto here and I'm going to okay I'm going to pop that up as well on dimensionals ah I'm going to put dimensionals on the top and on the bottom so it can straddle my twine. Oh. Pop that one too close to the edge. I'll just trim it off. There. Okay. Oh, I've got glue sticking to me everywhere here. Exactly, Matthew, especially for living on the beach. I'm sure you would love it. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that one there. Now I've got some gorgeous little trinkets, which I think are super cute. So I think I want to pop a cute little... Do I want to pop a wheel on there as well? No, I think I just want to pop the... um. I want to pop the anchor on there, but I want to pop some twine through it. And we'll do a bow. If I can pick it up. Okay, so I'm going to pop the twine through there. I'm going to tie a bow. No worries, Chrissy. that and like 
that. So we have a super, super cute bow on our anchor. Okay. And then I'm going to pop it on with a glue dot. That looks pretty cute. Glue dot. Is it freezing for anyone else or just Donna and Chrissy? So I'm just going to pop that on with the glue dot and I'm going to tuck it in under there. And do I want a boat? I feel like we could have a boat popped up down in that corner. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Type in the comments and let me know. It's actually still streaming here. Yeah, okay, Matthew's saying it's okay. It's still streaming here on my computer, okay? Okay, so I'm just going to pop that boat down there in the corner. So just down there like that. And then pop that onto my card. And there I have my first. Um, maybe just go out and refresh and come back in again. And see how you go. Just go out and refresh and come back in. Okay. So I'm just going to pop that on the front. Kerry's giving me the thumbs up. Okay. So look at that. How awesome is that card? You got to say it wasn't on your wish list, Sammy. Oh, I'm so sorry. What can I say? I am an enabler. I know I do it all the time to people. I'm so sorry. But anyway. I think, um, okay, so everyone's saying it's freezing a lot. So I think what we might do is I'll just bring in the cards. I think we might call it quits there today because if the internet's going to start to play up, I don't want you getting frustrated with what it's doing. So I'm just going to grab all those things out of the way and I'll bring those cards back in. So now up in the information up the top, if you, um, um, if you, Look in the information at the top, you will see there's links to, I've got a paper share that I'm doing. Um, so my paper share, I will be taking payments on by the 30th of May to grab your paper share. Now, the way the paper share works is you get a quarter share of all of the designer series paper in the new annual catalogue. And it costs you $11.75 postage. Um, the paper share from memory is... Uh, $68 I think it is um, plus $11.75 postage but it's really um, an awesome way to get your hands on the designer series paper. I also have um, an in colour club so if you're interested in getting the new in colours. So the in colours are our brand new um, colours that we get for, five, uh, for two years and we get five of the colours so I'm just going to grab those out. So we have Seaside Spray, we have Pretty Peacock, we have Rococo Rose, we have Purple Posy, and we also have um, Terracotta Tile. Now, they are our five brand new in colours. They're around for two years. Um, if you wanted to collect the in colours, I'm doing an in colour club that runs for five months, and the in colour club, you will get an ink pad, a re-inker, a marker, a set of duo um, blends, the light and dark blends in the colour, you will get designer series paper, you will get cardstock, you will get a whole roll of ribbon and you will get a selection of the faceted dots as well. Um, and that's $62 plus $8.50 each month for five months. So what happens is every month you collect the whole collection in one colour. Um, so one month you may get the Seaside Spray, the next month you may get Pretty Peacock, the month after Rococo Rose, the month after that Purple Posy and Terracotta Tile. So... Um, so if you're interested in my In Colour Club, it's an awesome way to collect all the in colours and everything that goes with them without having the outlay straight off to get the whole five colours. So it's a super, super awesome way 
of collecting your in colors as well. So if you're interested in that, the link is up above. If you're watching this back on YouTube, the link will be down below in the information box in the show more box down below. So if this is the first time you've watched me on Facebook, please feel free to like my page and follow my page so you get notifications and turn the notifications on so you get notified when I go... Um, go live. Yes, the Purple Posy is not available at the moment, but um, I actually have no idea. They said just to wait until the beginning of June and see what happens. So I'm still waiting to hear whether it's available. At the moment, it's not available, but it will be one of the last colors if that's the case to get in your um, stamps club. Uh, sorry, in your um, in Color Club. The other thing I have too is a Stamps Club for $45 per month. You get a stamp set, you get a card kit, you get a video tutorial, all designed around the um, stamp that is chosen for the month. So if you're interested in that, the link is up in the information above as well. If you're watching this back on YouTube, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I go live. So thank you everyone for watching this afternoon and thank you for putting up with um, the internet when it decided to go haywire. So until next time, have a lovely afternoon. And as I said, feel free to share the video. And if you type shared into the comments, even if you're watching the replay, still share the video because you never know who on your friends list might want to watch some awesome crafting. So I hope you enjoyed that. And until next week, have a lovely week. Bye for now.